Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's time for a garden update. So let's have a quick tour around and see what's going on. Okay, starting off with our longbird. There's a couple little jalapenos. We've just about got flowers coming out. So pretty happy there. Um, not a lot of movement still this week on this Apollo. You can see there's another one starting to form. But hopefully we will get some tomatoes very soon off it. Okay, again, jalapenos at flower stage. Okay, the Performa Brucey tomato. Got a lot of flower heads coming out. No fruit yet, but it's coming along. Uh, the little one down there, not moving so quick. A gross lizzy. Still not seeing any fruit yet, but we have had flowering, so hopefully the fruit will be close. Herbs are doing great. Um, our cucumber might be finally starting to make a move. He is hoping. You see it's starting to tendril out a bit. So hopefully we're getting a, get a move on some cucumbers. Zucchinis, the one at the back, still stunted. This one here will be up for pollination tomorrow, which is great. This one here is growing fantastic. I'm getting a zucchini every day, every second day off it. So very happy with this one. Okay. The non Italian pear tomatoes. He's starting to kick in the gear. The other one's there coming along. Sorry for the light folks. It's Really bad time of day to shoot. Um, this zucchini here, we're about to get a flower off that one. Awesome. Okay. A rose de marmon has flowers. So that one should be starting to set some fruit soon, which is great. Eggplants coming along. pepper left in this bed still going all right our little golden nuggets and still waiting for these fellas to kick in this one here has some beautiful fruit forming on it that one and also that one tucked in underneath I pollinated this one the other day and I don't know whether it's going to take or not. Maybe a bit too close to those other two to actually go. All right, Amish paste tomatoes, kicking goals. Absolutely putting some height on them. And we have one tomato forming on it. So. We'll see what happens with that. Grandma pumpkins, tenderloin, tenderloin. They're trying it a bit better because I want them out the front. This one's coming along. Still no females, but I'm happy. And that one, you can see it's starting to send up a tendril. So it's coming along. That little eggplant, yeah, it's not moving too much, but it's not dying either. That's a bonus. These butternuts are starting to take off. So they will soon send runners out over the garden. Our cucumella, just gone nuts. All of a sudden, it's just hit the point where they just want to grow. As you can see, I do have little female flowers on there. Okay. Where are we? 
there's the melon, there's the flower. These are a little bit small to pollinate by hand, so up to the mercy of the bees and whatever other pollinator insects are around. So hopefully we will have some cucumber melons soon. The kale paprika bed. Have a look at that sunflower. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely magnificent. Um, the kale I've picked a bit more off. I pulled some out just to get a bit more light through. You can see those paprika are a bit leggy in there. So I don't want to expose them to sun straight away. Should have taken that yellow leaf out. So they're growing, but they're a bit leggy. Um, don't want them coughing full sun straight away. So I've harvested some kale off and pulled a couple kale plants out just to give them a bit more sunlight and let them grow along. All right, our peanuts. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Um, so these were the ones, these ones here are straight from the packet. And these ones here were the ones that I soaked in water beforehand. As of yet, neither of them have poked their head above the ground. All right, our pumpkin and beetroot container. As you can see, well, we've got some Jack B. Littles poking up. And we have those beautiful cylindrical beetroots poking up too. Now you'll notice we get double seedlings. Beetroot, or beets as the Americans call them, is a multi-seeded plant. There's a couple seeds in each seed head. Each seed that you put in the ground, there's a couple seeds in it. So you will get a bunch of seeds up. All right, over here, these little cucumbers, which are the market ones, I think. They're doing great, they're popping up. And we have a mini gourmets down the center. The burpee's golden on the outside. Um, here's a classic example of the multi seeding. You can see there's four seeds come up there, or well, four seedlings come up there, but there was only one seed in that space. The three right next to it. So that's why you often have to thin your beetroot because you get a lot. Okay, over here we have the pepper bed and we're still waiting for this spinach to go up to seed and pod. It says just at flowering stage. So, just waiting on that. One of the sunflowers dying back, it's been pollinated. Uh, I have seen a lot of bees in the garden, which is awesome. Okay, a spring onion starting to come up. I seeded some more in the front but nothing yet. And our capsicums are hanging in there. Corn bed. They're coming in magnificent. Again over in this back corner where it gets the least rain. Um, it's just really slow over there. So it's an off section of the bed. But we'll see what happens. Alright, potatoes. Here's the one I harvested the other day. You can see I've put the plant that was still growing back in there. We'll see what happens with it. I put another one that was starting to shoot back in. And these ones here are ones that I put back in for further seed. Now, as we go through, I will take what I need from the potatoes. Um, you can see some of them are still growing strong. You know, this is the red supermarket one. Absolutely still going great. So that's going to stay there for a while. That's the seed potato one. That's going great. Uh, this is the white supermarket one. One side has died on this one. But the other side's going good. So at the moment, I'm just going to take the gamble and leave it going. Um, over here, 
you know, you can see they're in various conditions of health. So I will take out the worst ones as we go. So this one's not far from coming out because there's a few dead plants in it. Uh, this bag here, which is seed potatoes, you can see that's got most of the growth dead. And this one at the front is dying. So that will come out next. Um, this is still going strong. This is still going strong. So yeah, I'll just harvest as I go. You know, no, no need to pull any more than I'm gonna eat. And if they're still growing, they're still putting on roots. All right, Violet Queens. Since I opened it up and pulled off those dead leaves or the older leaves, we've got a heap of flower coming back on. Baby beans in there. Uh, this has made Astrid really happy because she was over today and she was able to get a bean. And she loves to pick the beans out of the garden. Again with the lazy housewife, I pulled all the old dead flowers off, let a bit more sunlight through. You can see we're flowering up again. We're about to get another flush. Um, and somewhere I did see another bean starting to form today, but I'm not going to take the time to look for it. Yeah. So it's looking great. So yeah, take those dead leaves off, trim them off, and you know they'll give you another flush quicker. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a little lazy housewife bean. Pimply squash bed. Now I'm starting to see some signs of some powdery mildew. So I've gone through and I picked a lot of the leaves out of the centre. Uh, to clear it up and those leaves went straight in the bin don't want to use them for compost or anything like that so they've gone straight in the bin and it's just cleared some space for some more sunlight to get in and hopefully stop the powder and mildew all right there is our first one Let's see how huge it is yeah the pimples that it gets its name off really developing looking great Over here is my second one. And that actually looks like a crossed out seed. You can see how it's got a sort of pumpkin shape to it. So it does not look like a pure seed in that one. But that's fine, it'll still eat well. And over here we have a third one that I've pollinated. And you can see that's coming along. San Marzano's. You know, they are setting some fruit like crazy. Uh, I've got a sauce machine on order. Hopefully that's going to get here before these things start to ripen. You can tell this is a determinate variety and it's going to set heavy when it sets. A beautiful little flower in the center. Okay, again with the pepper plants. Uh, looking at going soon this one here which keeps getting a battering it's still looking good all right the baby blues uh, we got one fruit down here hanging off got that one just growing along and we have another couple hiding in there so doing fantastic Pepino, starting to kick it along. Uh, the cranberry, yeah, not really moving. And the yakon, I've pretty much given up hope on. Sweet potato, starting to send out a tendril from the bottom here. Really happy with it. You know, it's tendering a bit more at the top. Yeah, it's going good. Our other buckets here are the okra. As of yet, no seeds popping up, but we'll give them time. Yeah, the golden nuggets. Again, I thinned out the leaves on these, um, but they've just popped more leaves back up. You can see there's a fair bit of leaf harvest off them. But, I mean, they are absolutely resplendent in fruit. Um, I 
picked one of these the other day for my squash boat video which I'll throw a link up for and they're not quite ripe yet so I can keep growing on them okay again on our San Marzano's this one's got a couple of fruit in there the one next to it lots more fruit again with the weeby little seedlings coming along weeby little tucked in there yeah we'll see all right the sunflowers are the true stunners at the moment and these things are bringing the bees in i have bees working in the garden which is really rare for me so i'm happy with the results that i've got as you can see this one's fully pollinated and once it dries off a bit that will be going for chicken food and the girls will love it they're out back with the girls and they have gone to bed already but here comes the guy who brings food And here comes the rest of the fan club. Alright, right, well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Please hit the like hit the subscribe hit that little bell notification so you can see more of the gardening videos more shed wars or more blacksmithing again thank you very much for watching and bye for now